So today I am making a oat and honey oatmeal soap and I'm going to make one that is unscented and then I'm going to make one that is scented with oat honey, oatmeal honey, milk and honey from Brambleberry. So I'm making a double batch in it. And this has palm oil, coconut oil, cocoa butter, castor oil, rice bran oil, sunflower oil, and oat extract. Hello, Diane here from, from Vermont Lavender again. We fix dry skin so you feel more comfortable. So all the oils that you have, and I am going through my recipe, and it's the oatmeal layer, layers. It's from Brambleberry Soap Crafting Book. So I have my palm in there, coconut, cocoa butter, castor oil, olive oil, rice bran oil, sunflower oil, and the oat extract and the honey I will add a little bit later. So it has quite a few oils. It's really good for the skin. It's antioxidant. I don't want to say that it's healing or anything like that, but I just want to say this is a really nice soap. And it's great. I use it in the summertime when I've like, um, I'm sensitive to heat. So the unscented uh, honey soap really does help my skin. And it is 120. Let's see, let me shoot it again. 123, 122. So I have to wait. I should get down a little bit more. Yeah. 122. So it should get down ugh, at least 110, so I'll have to wait a little bit longer. So this is a quadruple of a batch, and I have my finely ground colloidal oatmeal, which is excellent. Uh, it's really soothing. If anyone has ever taken like an oatmeal bath, uh, it really is very helpful. Um, so this is something that I'm going to be adding to this soap, and I'm adding it to both batches, so the unscented and the one that is scented with the oatmeal, milk, and honey fragrance oil. And so that's the, this is like, um, so this is half, this is half a cup, because this is a double batch. And then these are the oats that I will be putting on top, they're just for decoration, and before you use the bar of soap, you just want to, um, what I usually do is I just take them off and put them in the trash. And then here, here I have my mold, is, my molds are all set, all three of them are going to be the same. And then I have my bubble wrap is all ready to go. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to press it right into the soaps and it makes a nice little design. Then I was thinking, if I have time, just to like scrape it a little bit for a nice little design and then sprinkle just a little bit of um, those still uh, oats right on top. So I think that'd be really pretty and it's different. And then I have, then I have these little molds and they're little, um, they're little honeybees. I don't know if you can see that. I have to spray that, so I'll just spray it with some cooking oil, canola spray, and I'll I'll do the, like two of them. Do like two, just in case. I don't know how much this will make, so. It's always a good idea to have extra molds around just in case you, you know, you want to make some little hand soaps or whatever. Uh, I find this is really nice for like wedding favors too. People really like this design. So it's a little honeybee. Then here I have some And these are little molds that I have that I just want to make for embeds. And it's a little, it's a little flower. I'll show you. 
over here. I made some that are unscented. I think it's a good idea to make unscented embeds because you never know what scent you're going to um, make it with. These are the embeds I'm going to use to make my daisy uh, daisy chain soap. So I just want to, I have a couple little flowers. I got a tulip and they just came out of the mold. So it's really pretty and it's nice to add it to the soap. So it just, you know, it's just another decor decorative um, part of the soap. It just, you know, brings a little bit of oomph to it. And I could probably just color those a little bit, but I don't know if I will. So I have an extra pitcher here just in case. I have my honey and my oat extract. I have that all ready to go. And this is real Vermont honey that I'm going to put right into the soaps. So I'm just waiting. Oh, 117. And my lye, let me go check. Lye is 107, so I am going to still 117. Okay, so I'm just waiting. This is my fragrance oil. It's all set to go. I have it in glass. Uh, usually like essential oils, it's a good idea to place them in glass because some of them are, uh, even though they're natural, the esters in them, I think it's the esters in them, will actually eat the plastic. So it makes it a little bit caustic. Um, so I use uh, glass for my fragrance oils and my, especially my essential oils. Okay, so I'm just waiting. Yeah. I'm going to suit up my gloves on. Eventually when I have my shop, you'll be able to see me. make this which will be really nice okay I have my hair net and I have my lab coat on I got my safety goggles on and the stick blender this is one of the number one tools that you use when you're making soap because otherwise it would take hours <laughs> Of stirring. Hours and hours of stirring to make it, um, make the emulsion, make everything come together. So let me, and the only thing that I want to point out that is not good is that this is glass, which is not a good idea. I'm going to change this and get plastic and because this is lye and if it, this shatters it's make a really big big mess so this is something I'm going to change just for safety you can never be too safe when you're making handmade soap because it is it is tricky okay burnt my blade as slow as I can just try not to make any bubbles it doesn't take away from the soap it just aesthetically it doesn't look as good but it doesn't harm the soap if you have any bubbles in it Side. Just burp this again and burping it what it does is it takes all the bubbles out underneath here So because if I ran this you would hear Hear a lot of noise. That's not what you want to hear. It should be nice and smooth when you turn it on So I know I'm shaking it <laughs> Okay it 
it around. See, it's starting. The oils and the lye are starting to come together. And so this is what they call emulsification. And see, if you were to do this by hand, probably maybe three or four hours of stirring. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more. I want to bring it to um, light trace. And that's not a light trace. Sorry, I'm banging. Okay. And light trace is when you can just see like a little bit of when you, when I go like this, I can see a trace of my lines, and I can I can start to see it. So it's definitely at the light trace, which is really what I want. Because when you have um, additives like I'm adding the honey and other oatmeal, colloidal oatmeal and stuff, it really uh, speeds up the trace. So let me take this here. Okay, and I'm going to split this batch. So I have my. Um, actually. Hmm, yes, let's see if it works. Okay, I'm going to add this. I know I should have split it, but I didn't do that. Okay. So I want to add this. Oh, I'm going to add this here. And I'm just going to whisk, whisk this in because I don't want to speed it up too much. And this is the colloidal oatmeal, which makes a really nice bar soap. I love this, like in the summertime, even winter, but mainly summer. And I'll stir this in. much okay All right and then I'm going to stir this in this is the honey and the oat extract and this speeds things up <laughs> so now we have heat so I just want to stir this in. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to split this batch. Okay, and I have this one here. And they're both the same size. So I'm just eyeing it. I know I should measure. <laughs> okay. All right, and then I'm going to. So I'm going to put this one aside. Hopefully it's okay. Cover it up. This one here. Oh, let's see, I need to break that. Okay. So I want to make a little bit of the embeds. I don't think I'm going to need much, actually. Do 
me show you in that. This is something extra I'm doing. And I don't have a good grip. job but hey okay it's all set all right so I'm going to put these aside So this is something new I'm trying. Hopefully the other batch doesn't turn into... <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't harden up. <laughs> it's always an experiment. done this before. This is my first time, so we'll see how it goes.
also what I did wrong is I did not cut enough strips. Hmm. Yep, I did not. Turn it. So what I did wrong. Is this way. It's like I pre-cut everything. Come on. There we go. They turn out pretty. We'll see. I'm only supposed to get these right in there. Okay. And I'm just going to give this a nice stir.
that would work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this and go like this. I don't want to insulate it because it will make it really, really hot. Get over there. It's still very liquid. Wow. There we go. Okay. So hopefully it doesn't get too hot in that one area. We'll see. Thank you. 